Hey guys, I'm back with another candle review, and this time around for the 18 ounce four wick peanut butter waffle cone candle from Homeworks by Slatkin & Co. Super late to the party on this one, but this is available again online on homeworks.shop, readily available, and it's also, I believe, on QVC still as a duo as well, uh, so you can still get it, uh, and I've just been really enjoying Homeworks lately, so I was like, since I'm Homeworks uh, kick and I'm burning this candle, let me just film it in case somebody was like putting in their Black Friday orders and wanted to know what this smell like, and and I'll just put in my two cents. I think I have talked about this candle before in like a like weekly recap type of video, but I just wanted to do a dedicated uh, review video since I was in like the filming uh, setup and everything. Anyways, so let's get into it. The notes on this read, brown sugar waffle cone, cracked peanuts, caramel drizzle, and maple sugar. Uh, so yeah, this doesn't really smell like peanut butter or waffle cone. The name is just like, I think, totally misplaced on this candle. Uh, but it's still a super scrumptious fragrance nonetheless that I just love to pieces. And like, I'm pretty much done with this candle. Uh, like probably has like maybe one burn left after this. Uh, just simply excellent on this one. The throw and the burn just super good. And like the fragrance is just so unique and realistic that I really, really enjoy it. So what does it smell like? Uh, disregard the peanut butter or the waffle cone. This is more like a peanut brittle fragrance with the most realistic peanut note that you will ever find anywhere to the point that the peanut note is like almost so realistic and authentic and like savory to an actual like, you know, like salted peanuts, like just real peanuts uh, that it's could be off-putting to some people, but for me, like, I just love, like, the peanut brittle type fragrances uh, that I'm just like, oh my god, give me all of the, like, the realistic, authentic peanut note in this. So, the most realistic, true peanut note that you I've ever smelled. It's just simply excellent. Um, and it's made a little bit like the peanut note itself is made a little bit toasted and also a little bit, like, sweetened. Possibly, there's a slight, like, like liquidy ooey gooey like maybe like a honey drizzle or even like a slightly like jam like quality to the peanut uh that I get that makes it a little bit sweet in like a natural way so it's not overly sweet by any means like uh let's say uh pumpkin peanut brittle from BBW is super sweet on that just heavy heavy caramel fragrance uh in comparison to this uh it's just really cloying and heavy this is still a pretty like heavy fragrance itself too but it's just not heavy in like that super intense caramel sweetness that really pushes out pumpkin peanut butter from BBW. Uh, this peanut is a lot more realistic and once again has a more natural sweetness that comes from like a slightly toasted and maybe like a honey type fragrance or just something slightly like almost like jammy about it that makes it just like sweet and awesome that I enjoy. But once again, a very natural, um, unartificial sweetness. Uh, so there's that. And it's mixed with a uh, slight caramel sweetness, but it's not overly caramely like the pumpkin peanut brittle uh, from BBW, uh, but there's still some kind of like a brittle, like caramel, slightly like buttery almost feel kind of chilling it in the background uh, that evokes like a brittle type experience to it uh, that's sweetened ever so much by a caramel fragrance. But once again, the caramel is nowhere near as sweet as your like typical uh, suspect caramel fragrances from BBW. I don't really get maple sugar in this. Maple is like super heavy and cloying and sweet. So I don't really get that, but absolutely through the crap cracked peanuts and I would say maybe a little bit of brown sugar in here as well that gives it that slight like bakery sweetness and then kind of like a crunchiness to it uh waffle cone uh not really I would say more so like I get a slight like maybe like a sugar cone texture to it in the way that a sugar cone itself is not super sweet but there's that sort of like uh like that like texture to a sugar cone I don't really know how to describe it there's that type of like I guess texture accompanying the peanut fragrance kind of like that uh but yeah just uh real realistic and like l like awesomely textured like peanut fragrance that could I guess be best equated to peanut brittle uh and that's what this smells like it's just awesome and delicious if you like pumpkin peanut brittle from BBW but looking for a less sweet uh version of it and a much more like just heavy emphasis on a very realistic and authentic actual peanut note check this out if you like PB and J from BBW that has that similar like sort of jammy plus peanut um and even I think that little like honey drizzle and toasted component to it similar to PB and J but not as sweet and kind of like like weird uh, as PB&J. Uh, but if you enjoyed those type of peanut fragrances, which I love pumpkin peanut brittle, and I also love PB&J. So like this is totally up my alley, but in like the most realistic, authentic, and just like strangely 
authentically savory way that you would imagine cracked peanuts to smell like, this is totally it. I just, I'm totally in love with it. So that's pretty much what this smells like. As for the performance on this, just flawless, which is very rare for homeworks. Uh, I feel like this one didn't soot too bad at the beginning. It's certainly not sitting anymore, so we're good to go there, and I don't really see any soot residue on the side here. Um, I just, like, trimmed this and burned it, and I was good to go. Uh, so we're good to go there. It didn't lose a wick or do any of the leaning uh, stuff that we've gotten before. Uh, as for the throw on this, also super strong for me, which I really enjoy. This is, like, up like to, like, a BBW quality type of strength. Definitely, like, in a good, like, 7 range sometimes if I put it in a smaller bedroom like I like I have to blow it out after like two or three hours because it's just too much but honestly I'm not complaining about that I would rather have that than like a totally weak sauce unscented candle so totally good on the strength on this one one of the stronger ones from homework so we're good to go there overall if you want a very authentic uh like emphasis on actual cracked peanuts note peanut brittle type fragrance, then I would check this out. If you're looking for something like super sweet and caramely or mapley, like a peanut brittle, a peanut butter waffle cone experience would imply as the name says, not so much. But if you just love the smell of peanuts and want that ever so slightly sweetened by that slight caramel, slight honey, slight toasted feel to evoke a like authentic peanut brittle, uh, check this out and it has great performance and throw on it. So I just really no qualms about that. This is just like some of that like slightly off-putting to some and slightly acquired taste fragrance that I come to enjoy from Slatkin & Co. fragrances that aren't so mass appeal or that aren't so basic and just like very safe. This one does go a little bit outside of the box in terms of how realistic that peanut is. Uh, so that's what I enjoy about it so much. So that's pretty much it. Let me know if you tried this one uh, yourself and thanks so much for watching. Bye.